Hey, shout out to all the teachers out there. Round of applause for teachers. Yeah. I have a newfound respect for teachers because my children are in virtual school now. And when it first started, I was the teacher, and it wasn't good. <laughs> it didn't take me long for my wife to uh, relieve me of my classroom duties. Now I'm over security and snacks. <laughs> the issue is my wife didn't like my educational philosophy. I was teaching my children things that I learned when I was a child. Do y'all remember those bizarre stories they taught us called nursery rhymes? <laughs> there was an old lady that lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. So she fed them broth without any bread and whooped them all soundly and put them in the bed. <laughs> yeah, that lady going to jail. You can't post that. <laughs> you can't post that on social media, man. <laughs> what about this one? Peter Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife. He couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, oh, no. <laughs> and there he kept her very well. <laughs> yeah, Peter has a Netflix documentary coming out called The Making of a Murderer of Pumpkin Pie Style. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the straw that broke the camel's back was when my wife heard my son singing this dumb little song that I taught him in music class. Ten little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off, bumped, bumped his head. head. Mama called the doctor, and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> then it was nine little monkeys. Then eight little monkeys. Then seven little monkeys. <laughs> I'm like, when is this doctor going to call Child Protective Services on this woman? <laughs> this woman is clearly overwhelmed by these children. <laughs> she need to call old lady in the shoe. <laughs> yeah. I bet you after some broth and a whooping, they won't jump on that bed no more. <laughs> hey, I might get one. Thank you all so much.